Gianni, from a business perspective, I'll get to that now. Um, Gianni, from a business perspective and from an art perspective, it is interesting to see how Professor Bari almost transitions that with so much ease. That business science uh, and art are all interlinked. Do you have any other views that you want to add here? Well, the, the reflection that comes to mind as I listen to you, Professor, is um, creativity versus discovery. And, and the, the question that comes to mind is whether we have indeed been created perfect and that the education that we seek is to discover that perfection in ourselves because there always seems to be a mirroring of what we're seeking to what already exists, for example, in ourselves. So I think there's as much um, discovery that is necessary of ourselves as much as there is of what's external. And once we see the art and science in ourselves, then that discovery becomes a lot easier. And um, what you mentioned just now about passionate teachers, I think the, the, the danger perhaps is that our teachers are being pigeonholed into having to adhere to certain check checkbox kind of teaching, whereas one could discover, I was talking earlier with, with Danny here about his son, which is a fantastic story as well, uh, in terms of people that are geniuses in themselves and have discovered parts of themselves that don't fit into those tick boxes and how we as a society acknowledge those people and then help to, to, to make the world a place where we can then discover the truth behind how we live and how we are. Because the science of the human body um, and the way that we're able to be cognitive, artistic, mathematical, and all these different things all in one space seems to be what we're looking for. Um, I would just want you to comment on what I've said, whether it's positive or negative. So indeed emphasizing the, the holistic remarkability of being human. Yeah, I think that it's much more fun to let your student discover what you want them to learn instead of just telling it straight to their face. So not tell. It's a, co a common classic in writing, but we never use it in math and science. So 